Distinguished future physicians, welcome to Stomp on Step 1, the only free video series that helps you study more efficiently by focusing on the highest yield material. In this video, we will be covering the cell cycle. This is the seventh video in the Cell Injury and Cancer series. If you like this video, check out the others as well. The cell cycle is the process of cell replication, where two daughter cells are created from one parent cell. The cell cycle is made up of interphase and mitosis. And since we're doctors and we need to make everything more complicated, interphase is divided into yet four other phases. The G1 phase, the S phase, the G2 phase, and what I call the lazy phase, the G0 phase. Let's go a little more in depth. So we're gonna start with the resting or lazy phase, G0. In this phase, the cell is out of the cell cycle and it's not dividing or doing really anything at all. It's waiting to be recruited into interphase in the rest of the cell cycle. G1 phase is where things get a little more interesting. At this point, we're growing and accumulating nutrients to get ready for cell replication. The S phase is where we double the, number, the amount of chromosomal material in the cell so that it can divide into two identical daughter cells. The G2 phase is the second growth phase where we're getting even bigger and preparing to split. And then finally, the M phase, which stands for mitosis, is the actual splitting of the cells. This is a picture representing the actual cell cycle. Here we see we start with one diploid parent and we end up with two identical daughter cells. We start out as a 2N cell, which replicates its DNA to create a 4N cell via the S phase or synthesis phase. The M phase is where the two cells are actively dividing. And finally, at the end of the division, we end up with the two identical daughter cells. Every good cell in the body knows not to replicate too much or to only replicate if it's the kind of cell that's supposed to be turning over all the time, like your skin cells or your, the cells in your gut. Well, other cells are not supposed to divide as frequently, like your muscle cells or your heart cells and these cells stop at a certain point in their growth. Now with every cell or anything, there's always going to be a few rotten eggs, right? Well, some cells do not stop at those specific checkpoints or rest in the cell cycle. One of the most popular checkpoints that are talked about in medicine is the P53RB checkpoint. Cells are supposed to stop at this point if something is wrong with their DNA. The cell knows that this is a bad egg, it's supposed to stop replicating, and it may undergo apoptosis or self-destruction. It also has the option of going back into the cell cycle again if, it, if it's able to be repaired and to go back into division. Cancers ignore this checkpoint. They keep dividing. Thankfully, we have a few medications to stop the cell cycle when it can become cancerous. Two examples of chemotherapeutic drugs that stop the cell cycle are anti-metabolites and sulfa drugs. These stop cells in the S phase or the replication phase. Another chemo drug is paclitaxel, which binds to the microtubules and keeps the cell from dividing. Permanent tissue is stuck in the G0 phase, the lazy phase. These cells can get bigger or hypertrophy, but they do not undergo hyperplasia. In other words, they don't divide. As we discussed earlier, muscle does not divide, and nor does the CNS tissue. Stable tissue is waiting to be recruited. It mostly stays in the G0 phase, but it can re-enter the cell cycle when it's needed. These cells get bigger or undergo hypertrophy, and they divide via hyperplasia. An example is a lymphocyte. Lymphocytes divide whenever they are needed, as in an infection. Hepatocytes or liver cells also divide when they're needed, after binge drinking or in an active hepatitis infection. Label cells are your ADHD cells. They are constantly go dividing and going through the cell cycle and they were always busy. Some examples include stem cells, skin, and bone marrow. That brings us to the end of this video. If you liked it and you want me to make more, please like my videos on YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I won't bore you with the details about search engine optimization or social proof, but just know that even though it only takes you a couple seconds to do those things, it really helps me out a lot.